Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CodeShare.co.uk. Today I've got a little tip for you about how to use the styles drop down in Umbrico in the rich text editor. So my friend uh, James from CynicalDeveloper.com, he runs a podcast and he's got his own uh, website that he built in Umbrico after I appeared on his podcast for an interview. Uh, we talked about Umbrico on that and following from that he built a website and he asked me today how does he um, do this, basically? So in the content, how does he make this have some styles in it? This format's dropped down in the rich text editor. He wants to add some styles. How can he do that? He wants H1, 2, 3, and 4, and other things. So I said to him, well, I'll do a video for you, and, uh, and then you can watch it on YouTube to see the answer. So this is what, that's what the video is going to be about, how you can populate this to use it for yourself. If you've installed one of the starter kits, it's already done for you, but you, know, you might not know how to edit that. So this is what we do. So first of all, what we need to do is create a specific style sheet for that. So I'm going into, I've got my mother, uh, mother-in-law's website here that I've done a tutorial series on how to build this. Um, so in this, I'm going into style sheets, create, and I like to call mine styles drop down. And then click on create. And then in where it's got the three dots here, click on create again. So this is within that style sheet and creating something else. So we'll just do H1. And what that does is it creates a new style property um, the name of it here is H1, so that's what will appear in the drop down list. But the alias is dot H1, so that's really that's going to do a span with a class of dot a with a class of H1. So, what we want to do is remove the dot, so that will then it won't create it as a span, that will create it as an H1, um, and it won't be using a class, it'll just be the H1 as the tag. Do the same for H2. H3 and H4, it depends on how many you want to go down to, but you get the gist. I'll leave it at H3 for now. So how do I use that in the drop down? That's the next thing. So we go to the developer tab, you need to edit the rich text editor. You scroll down to rich text editor and you see where it says style sheet, that is basically saying, do you want me to show that formats um, drop down so that's when that's ticked and then you go down to here where it says style sheets what do you want to use in that tick style sh styles drop down the one you just created and then click on save and i've also got a content grid that i'm using so i need to go into that and then where it says about rich text editor in this make sure style sheet is ticked and then styles drop down is ticked as well and finally, I did a smaller version of the rich text editor because sometimes you don't want a full size rich text editor for something that's only going to be a couple of lines of content. So I created my own property um, based on the rich text editor property to basically extend it. But I, I got it to be 200 uh, pixels high. Anyway, because of that, I need to make sure that I'm using it in here as well. So styles drop down and style sheet. They're both ticked. Click on save. So now if we go back into the grid, onto the blog post that we were looking at, if you see in the subtitle, now in the format, we've got this here. So you can just type something, select it, and do H1. And if we look at the source code, it's now put an H1 there. So that's as easy as it is, really. Um, so you just do that h3 and then if you want to turn it off i think you select it again and it goes back to a paragraph now the other thing you can do with those as well is you can like say if you wanted a paragraph with a certain style so you can do uh, create and then you could say special or whatever whatever you want to refer to it as so this one is going to be i'm going to do a p dot special so now 
whenever I'm writing any content in here, this will apply the P dot special. So if we put click on special and we look at this, this gives it a P with a class special. Now the difference here, let me just save that. I'll just go back to the developer tab and show you again. Uh, sorry, the on here, P dot special. If I just left that as special, what it would do is you would end up with a, I'll show you actually. Um, I'll do a new one, example. I'll just leave it as example with dot example and save that. Then in the content, when you come to use that, if we just type, just make sure that's, that's still got special. So I want to deselect special off there. So that's not got special anymore on those two paragraphs. So if I want to choose example now, what you will find is P tag with a span inside it that has the class of example. So that's the difference there. So anyway, that's how you can do your own styles in the uh, drop down, the formats drop down in your rich text editor. So I hope you found that useful, um, especially you James who actually asked me to show you anyway. Um, if you like the video, please click on like, um, subscribe to my channel and share with others and feel free to comment. If you've got any questions as well, things that you don't know how to do in Umbrico that you'd like to know, um, send me a message or write it in the comments. I'll see if I can do a video to show you if I know the answer. And if I don't know the answer, then I will uh, try and put, point you in the right direction of someone who might. So thanks for watching the video and I'll see you on my next one. Thanks. Bye.